Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. If you feel like this video just give you a good vibe or insight that you truly need it, you know, please give a thumbs up and share. It's greatly appreciated. And the video I'm about to do today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, uh, when, it, when it gets hard to trust the plan you are facing, um, when you are facing so much pain, you are being yoked. You know, uh, it's like you're, you're showing humility. You're showing, um, you know, um, you're being guided to, um, you know, of the unfold of the process, being able to trust the process of your life. You know, you're being yoked on that. And it's just like sometimes it's hard for us to trust the, pen, the, the plan, God's plan of purpose when we're facing so much pain into our lives. You may be dealing with different people that is just like standing in your way, trying to do any and everything you, you know you can. Even when you're trying to get up today and, you know, saying today is going to be that day where it's being positive. You're dealing with a lot of different things where it's just really trying to, you know, upset you make you mad you know block you on different things you know just doing anything to get a rise out of you and it's, it's just like and God's just like telling you trust me I you know I know what's going on I know more than what you got going on even it's just like when your thoughts your you know your moves that you make you know whether you're doing it for good reasons or you're doing it for wrong reasons you know you're getting vengeance when I tell you vengeance is mine you know uh all these different things I already know what the plan is before you even make it you know, and it's telling you to trust in what he's what he's guiding you towards. Trust in what it, it what it is. You know, there's a lot of different things that I talk to on one on one, or even on the different things that y'all speak on here on dropping your you you know your comments and stuff. I mean, we're really dealing with a lot of adversity when you're trying to heal, when you're trying to allow yourself to separate from addictions. You know, you you deal with a lot of different things. So, you know, it, it, it's just like the devil around every corner. You know, but you, you know, God and angels is on every level. You know, you have to be able to understand that you are stronger than your weaknesses. And I hear that a lot. You know, it'd be different times where I just want to have a reason just pick up a cigarette. And I have a lot of reasons, but it's just like, you know, what's best for you. You know, um, I, I haven't had a drink shoot since it's like my birthday, like almost like six and a half years ago, you know. And it's been a long time. I can't even remember the last time I actually took a puff of of, of, of a herb. You know, is even smelling that mess now. I was just like, ooh, that's just too much for me. <laughs> you know, it's just like, no, so I could walk in the whiff of that. And it, it would make me so annoyed. I'm like, uh-uh, I'm good on that. And they were like, letting you know, like, hey, you just, <laughs> you know, if it got you like that, you get real paranoid. And, you you know, it's just like really got you sensitive. That means you know you don't need to be even around that stuff. And that lets you know. But it's just like, you know, there, there's, it's like all this is a part of your purpose. You know, when you're showing different things on how you share, you know, there will be a lot of people that want to stay in that vibration where they're comfortable that way. You know, they're okay with being, you know, if they're, they're wanting to, uh, they, they don't feel like change is, is necessary. Even when it's just like, when you feel that way, that means ch change is absolutely necessary, but you can't force that on nobody. You know, you can't force nobody here. We have to allow ourselves to not place judgment, even towards ourselves. You know, not be harsh on ourselves. You know, you're learning, you're growing. These are our, our new frequencies for us. You know, these are new frequencies for us. So it, it can be rather uncomfortable, you know, until it, it'll make you feel like you're going, it reminds me of that song by Paula Abdul. It was like two steps forward, two steps back. <laughs> You know, it was like that song with her. That what was that cat? I think that's what. Two steps forward, two steps back. You know, opposites attract. I'm just like, ooh, that went really went back in the day. But I was just like that. That's what it was reminding me of. You know, when you take those two steps forward, it, it'll be like you like you have those life lessons on when it is so easy to go back. We don't know how easy it is for us to give up. You don't know how easy it is for us to be negative naysayers, not towards our lives, but other people's lives. You know how it's so easy to be drama filled. 
You know, you creating chaos every time you don't touch something, every time you project something, every time you speak something. That's easy. But what's hard is when you got all that negativity in your mind and you still staying focused on the positive. You know, there'll be so many different things that want you to have that setback, but yet you keep trusting your instincts when it's keep on telling you to push forward. You know, it's just like when you got that, you know, it made me think about when I see that post where it's showing you your spirit guides. It's like your spirit guides is just like up under here and they're just pushing your foot to go forward. It's like we got you. We know it's not easy doing what you're going to do, but you're going to understand this purpose. You may not understand the plan, the, the plan of what we got going on, but you're going to understand that pain. It has a purpose behind it. It shows so much strength within you. You it is making you want to invest in yourself. We invest in so many different things that is not even investable. <laughs> it's not even investable. You know, I don't even know if that's a word, but it's gonna be one today. It, it, it ain't investable. It's like it's investable. It's not investable either. You know, and those different things in life, and these are the different things that's telling you. It's so easy for you to do that, but where your strength is really being challenged is when all the negative that's coming against you, and you still see some kind of positive outcome to come past that. And it's a lot of times that's hard to do when you're dealing with so much in your head. And this is where you're deadening out that negativity and speaking positivity into your life, speaking rebirth into your life, you know, abundance into your life, you know, uh, possibility, endless possibilities into your life. You're doing that. You know, and a lot of times it's hard. We have to get out of our understanding and trust in God's understanding. And a lot of times it's hard. We're looking at him like, oh, be patient. I say, you say that word to me one more time. Because it's really trying my patience. It's like it's trying me. I know that's why I'm telling you to be on your patience. Because this is where I'm telling you to get your patience at. Because <laughs> you don't have patience. You know, and a lot of times we know what our weakness is. We look for love. From everything we want to be loved we want to be but a lot of times we don't realize when we don't love ourselves we're chasing other things we're attracting other things that don't there'll be different times where people can downright be despicable towards you say say the worst about you place places so much negativity and so much crap on your name but when you know yourself so much when people you hear that out in the streets like oh you know what they said about you you know what i don't care but I mean, if you supposed to be my friend, I mean, the first thing I'm questioning, my question is to you, whether they feel so comfortable with saying that around you in the first place. That's where I'm, my question is. That's where my concern is at. You know, I'm like, oh, dad, that's my friend. Because they say, no, the question is that, I mean, why did they feel so comfortable saying that about somebody who's supposed to be your friend? That's not your friend. <laughs> you know, you had to be like that. There'll be different times. There'll be different things. That somebody's saying that about you. And there'll be times where I've, I've heard the worst of the worst being said about me. I already know it can get even worse when I'm not around. And I have to laugh because it's like, why are you? before that used to hurt you because I know who I am. I know what I'm about. That, do, that doesn't vibe with me. That vibes with how they feel about themselves that they're trying to place on me. I know who I am. I know where I've been. I, and you know, I have no problem with admitting, you know, hey, I used to be a toxic person. Hell, I'm still dealing with my toxicity that I'm trying to heal from. You know, I'm trying to make sure I'm cutting off any kind of cord, any kind of magnetic force that attracts that. I appreciate the people that come to me trying to throw wool over my eyes about them not being narcissistic. And they and I'm starting to pay attention to them, them red flags, them red flags, them red flags that they not had. You know. And appreciating that. Not being scared not to say, hey, this is the reason why I'm not talking to you. You know? And be straightforward about that. A lot of times you don't understand. Those situations is coming to you where you speak, be boldly and speaking in your truth why you're not going to tolerate something. Or why you're not going to continue to entertain something like that. Or why, let me, let me allow you to understand why I'm not going to be accepting your phone calls. Or why I'm going to block you on every platform that I have. You know, when you're allowing yourself to understand that, you're going to start understanding the reason why God's plan was like that in your life in the first place. You know, when you, you were looking for love in that life, you had to place a lot of love in you. You know how you place love in things that wasn't even reciprocating. I used to tell people, I still to this day tell people, I'm so glad I didn't get invested in certain things that was trying to get invested in me. 
And that would have been just a huge downfall. Thinking my my life is a whole downfall now. Just think about that. You would have got married into certain things. Just think about that. It was just like, and people were like, oh, girl, you know, you should feel stupid now. You no, no, I feel blessed. It may have took me a longer time. That's embarrassing to me, but then I'm not embarrassed no more. Because that means that I got so much, so much experience. When somebody else tried to pull, they already know exactly what they're doing. Because it's just the fact is I used to entertain things because I didn't love myself. I was okay with being manipulated. I was okay with being treated certain ways. And when I start cutting off that life source, oh, I became hated. Because I wouldn't allow myself to be that type of person. Let me be your enemy in the streets. Just because of something somebody said, okay. And I tell people real quick. If the quickest they are to talk about them like that. And they around you like that. Don't think that they won't do the same thing to you. And I tell people real quick. Don't, hey, that, that's not cute. You got to be able to understand if they will quick to be able to tell, you know, being secretive and, and, and being, you know, they can't keep the story straight. They, maybe there are certain things you need to be able to pay attention to. And they always tell you when you meet new people, see what their habits are. You know, and they always say, you know, be able to understand when, you know, see how people truly feel about you when they're upset with you. And they can actually speak to you with respect and be able to say, hey, I'm mad at you right now, but I really don't want to talk because I want to use discernment. I don't want to say something that I can't take back because words hurt. Even though people will forgive you, they're not going to forget about what you said. They ain't going to forget about how you got upset and you said what you really felt about them because that's going to let me know that's how you truly felt about me. It just took anger, anger to bring it out. That's just like how they say a drunk person speak a sober mind. They just need some liquid courage to really show you show you how they are you know and those are different things and you have to understand a lot of people ain't gonna like you when you allow yourself to invest in your truth you disrupt in their lie about you that's okay let them lie about you you know who you are in, in truth you trying to understand God's plan about that why do I got to be placed in this where people lie about me all the time where they're so comfortable with placing lies because that truth stands too bold for them Maybe they they love to use your life as, as, as a point on talking. Because if they say about their life, they ain't going to be as interesting. But what if they're saying this about me? God, why are they saying this about me? That's okay. You have to understand that it's okay. If people want to make you the villain, you, you're going to be a superhero in a lot of people's videos, movies, stories, you know, books. But there's a lot of people that just because you, you how you carry that light. And what it is about you that really stands Trump powerfully connected to God, people gonna hate you for that. People gonna intimidate, be intimidated by you for that. They're gonna envy you for that. You know, there's many a things where I see how people got comfortable and belittling me in front of people because I'm like, why did you always do that? You know, I used to get mad like I didn't have a comeback story. A comeback line. You know, they pull that on me now. Like, oh, so you you know, you want me to carry you want to carry that on to trigger me about that truth you trying to place on everybody else about how I am, knowing that's not how I am. Okay. You know, and you'll be like that. You know, you'll really be like that. I'll see how you know, you want to carry a story about me. You wanna do this about you. You know, you got so many different things that goes out and you're trying to understand is this a part of God's plan? Yes. <laughs> this is a part of God's plan. I'm like, dang, I'm the culprit. Yes, a lot of times you got to be. But the point is, I'm trying to get you not to invest in how other people see you, how other people define you. I want you to invest in how you invest in how you see your, define yourself. You were looking for love and I told you you had to be able to love yourself because what you're looking for is already looking for you. Your come up is going to be your come up regardless on what anybody say, what regardless on what people do. Nobody is like your blessings is not based off of other people's emotions. Your your blessings and your prosperity and your abundance is not based on other what other people feel like you deserve. That's what God is for. Nobody is not God. And you're trying to understand that while you're dealing with so much pain. While you're dealing with so much hurt. You're going through a lot of these things because you're strengthening yourself through those storms. You're becoming your own storm. 
It remind me of, I was about to use that the other day, and I don't think I might use this on that um, on that on a nail on a thumbnail. Why you have to understand you or you? I'm gonna come in and destroy you, just like a storm. And you gonna understand when you left me. You gonna understand why every big storm was named after a person. That shook me. <laughs> that really shook me. Like I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna destroy you. And it was just like my cat, Hurricane Irma. <laughs> I was like, you your own little hurricane. You know, and she's terrified of that going, you know, because she, she came from Noya. You know, she came from Noya. And it's just like she can't stand storms. She gets so scared. I'm like, okay, I'll pick her up and bring her in my room. And she every time something starts rattling. Because it was like, it's been storming here for the last few days, on and off, on and off. You know? It's this guy's passion on clearing out. You know, a lot of times your storms are, are not, you know, your storms to tear you out. But it's just clearing out your path. You know, this is not based, our life is not based on our understandings. It's on God's understanding. Whatever your weaknesses is, it's going to be your most powerful strength. You don't have confidence in yourself. God going to put you in certain situations where you going to ante up on yourself. You going to see that strength in you. Whether or not I'm going to have to beat it out of you. Whether or not I'm going to have to keep putting all these daggone blockages on you. To where you understand you got that power of source to knock all those daggone things down. Because I gave it to you. Everything is your, your spiritual awakening is just what it is. Backward form. I got dyslexia like crazy backward form is waking up that it is awakening your spirit it's a part of you that you had to get reacquainted with it had to be reacquainted with you have to understand it's like a lot of time when people try to control you try to control your emotions because they don't have control over their own life they don't because it's just like we have to understand we none of us have control over our life we have to be able, we weren't, we can't control the, 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 the cards we were dealt. We just got to learn how to be able to be comfortable with playing that. If somebody's trying to trigger you, it's because you are triggering them and don't even realize it. They have to try to do that, but with their mind working like, oh, I got to make them mad. Oh, I got to do this. Oh, I got to do that. It's like, why do they keep doing that? Just because the fact is you're healing. You're changing for the better. That's triggering towards somebody who don't want to do that. All those different things is taking apart. That's a part of God's plan. You are sitting in the midst of that war to be able to understand there are certain battles that's not meant for you to fight. You're my soldier. But there's not every fight, every battle is not meant for you to fight. Just because you got you gotta sit up here and climb the mountain, don't place it on your back. You know, you gotta be able to understand the quicker you get to that top of the mountain, you're gonna see the uh, you're gonna see the other one coming. And you coming and you coming and you coming. And those are the different things that you're facing in life where you're not getting comfortable. Even when you're in the peak of being comfortable, you're not going to be comfortable with staying in that comfortability. You want to create more. You're hungry for more. You're stingy when it comes to that. I mean, we're not stingy. You know, you're, you're eager to have more of that. And that's what God wants you for. Because it's just the fact is when you can get to that life where you have the most comfortable lifestyle you can. You got money that, that is going to last on top of last. Like you got money to, to carry on three generations. And you're still like, this is not what I'm here for. I'm here to create more. And God's like, that's exactly why I picked you. Because there was a time when you were struggling. There was a time when you didn't have a dime to your name. You had a time where you had to be prideful. Dump that, you know, you were prideful. And you, it was hard for you to ask other people. And God, some kind of way, he brought miracles into your life. He brought people into your life that wanted to invest in you and said, that, you know, let me go ahead and help that person. You don't know how later on down the line you won't end up being a blessing to that person. It's like, I remember when you invested in me, when everybody else that I invested in turned their back on me. And just because when God blessed me with this, it's now I'm blessing with you. No, that blessing is just to bless somebody else. But I'm going to bless you, but I'm going to bless 10 other people just because you blessed me. They, just because you invested in me to do that, it gave me the opportunity to invest in 10 other people to do the same. That's how my blessings is going to keep going. And that's how your blessings is going to keep going. There's a lot of things where we don't understand. And, and it's hard to trust in God's plan when we're dealing with so much pain. You're being yoked. You're being so yoked right now. 
You know, and you're in a, a lot of times we don't realize we're in that incubation stage, but it's at that time where you, you know, you're getting out of that incubator. Now it's time for you to pull that plug. You've been plugged up for so long. Now it's time for you to go. It's time for you to move. It's time for you to soar. You know, you got that. You got this too. You know, there's different things that's going on in your life we may not understand. A lot of times you can push so much goodness out there into the world and all you feel is so much pain coming back in return. God knows that. You know, and a lot of times, you know, we, we got to understand that's what God was doing. You know, they lied on him all the time. He had so much power out there in the world that he was trying to get other people to see. And people feared that. They envied that. They tried to make him do something he wasn't. You know, a lot of times people will push good, uh, bad out there about you because they can't stand the good that was in you. They try to they try to kill that because they know if you get the resources, you get that game plan going, you can make something big out of that. And they don't want that. If they know they can't be beneficial off of that and they can't be able to, you know, be able to touch that, they'll try to destroy it or take it for their own. Believe that. But it ain't, it ain't still when it feels already yours. It's not. So I hope you are able to resonate with that. I would love to give a post notification shout out to Tierra Simone. Much love to you and Katrina Rainwater. Much love to you as well. If you're new to my channel, God bless. Thank you. It's so good to have you. Please drop a line. I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking. A lot of times people connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. They don't feel comfortable enough talking about the different things and, you know, dropping it on a public platform on the tube of you and I really understand that so I always tell people hey hit me up one on one you know we talk about whatever we can talk about you know I help out the best way I possibly can whatever we speak on is confidential you know if you ever want to invest in podcasting you know um, I, I drop my, my gems of podcasting here on my community uh, section of my, my channel as well with uh, a lot of my different uh, what is it my posts and stuff like that just to be able to help you have that insight of the day um, and if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation, Cash App is there as well. So whatever you're trying to bring into your fruition of your, your manis that you've been working so hard for, I'm adding on 20 million times more. Whatever you're needing to just keep on being consistent with yourself. You know, there's a lot of things that goes on in your life where it feels like, you know, it can never blossom and never can get off the ground. But a lot of times, God, you don't know what moves is being made in, in behind closed doors. BTS on you. You know, he, he's like always behind the scenes. You never know what God's uh, making moves for you. He invested in you. So you have to allow yourself to keep going no matter how things are looking for you. Stay persistent and consistent. The devil may make you give up and give in and give up today. Just because he know the, the you know, the oppor those opportunity going to blow the heck open tomorrow. So stay persistent and consistent with yourself. Don't sleep on yourself. Stay woke. So, um, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. You never know. Those can always take somebody a long way. And just because you invested in that without wanting anything in return, it'll take you even further. So, much love to you. God bless. Shalom. I say. Grand risings. Namaste. Peace.